okay with it. And we're gonna make sure that uh, Zoom is muted. Fantastic. Welcome okay, with to it. the call. That's us. That's us. Excellent. Welcome to the call, everybody. My name is Dr. Stan Wangenye, a piece of gold in Daisy. We have with us, of course, a, a top leader, Bilal Ajamu, who is a piece of leader, the highest rank in Daisy, who is on the call. And uh, we hope to be training and shedding some light on the performance of, uh, of Endotech, what we see happening in the back office. Uh, and we're gonna put out a few comparisons just so that people understand uh, why we are where we are in the uh, daisy performance. Uh, we've, we, we respond to the need that is in the teams. And uh, I know there's been people making inquiries as to uh, the performances in both uh, Forex as well as crypto. And uh, we are going to be training on that tonight. And like I said earlier, for those that were there before uh, the hour, they came in early. Uh, I do suggest that you have a book and pen uh, to be uh, uh, writing uh, and to be taking notes as well as please write questions that you might have because at the, at the end of this call, we are going to have a Q&A. You'll have an opportunity to ask questions about uh, anything regarding Endotech and regarding DAISY and where we are and what we're doing, uh, and also clarify any information that you might hear tonight, you are welcome to clarify that. Uh, let me first start by saying that um, DAISY so far and Endotech so far has absolutely been outperforming anything and everything out there in the markets. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, of course, my, my brother Bilal is a whole lot more uh, uh, informed about, about the market, the performances. He's a leader and his, his background uh, has been in, the, in, 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 in accounting, in, you know, high level, you know, uh, long term, uh, working with numbers and working with figures in real market conditions. Uh, Bilal, I don't know whether you, you 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 might want to just jump in and um and and chip in here uh, about the performance that we are seeing uh, in uh in Endotech as well as in Daisy. Uh, I will be pulling out one of the back offices to just illustrate a couple of things. But uh, uh just let us know what's going on in the market, bro. How you doing, Dr. Stan? Uh, well, yeah, uh, anybody that's been uh, been with us in Daisy for some time have been experiencing, uh, in the Forex, have been experiencing some, uh, you know, fabulous returns. Um, you know, we were, for the, <clears throat> for the first 12 months, experiencing over 20% a month. Um, you know, that was due to the, the great volatility uh, that was in the Forex market. Um, that volatility has since trended downwards, uh, to, from flat to downwards, and uh, we're, we're still positive. However, you know, those returns over the last few months have been more in the range of 7 to 10 percent. Um, and even 7 to 10 percent a month is... Um, extraordinary results uh, given the current conditions and given anything else that you, you know, would possibly uh, delve into, um, you know, and it's compounded results, which makes a whole lot of difference as well. Indeed. So, so yeah, to date, I believe we're 973, some odd 76, somewhere around there, 74, 974%. Uh, compounded PL since April 2022. So 14 months, as you can see there, uh, with uh, 14 winning months, zero losing months. We've had losing days. We've had no losing weeks and obviously no losing months. 
Um, so it's just been fantastic. And, and if it, and if at, at all that you were around since the beginning and you have not withdrawn your profits, then you would be seeing in your back office somewhere around that 974% in, in gains, which is just extraordinary. In, in, indeed. Uh, uh, you, you talked about volatility and we, we, I'll, I'll pull out... Um, uh, I'll pull out um, a what's it called a live page where where it it expresses just what you what you said, but I, I do want to first of all answer a question that was asked about uh, the personal performance, and I I pulled open an account that was opened uh, last month. So if I if I go to my account over here. Uh, we'll address the crypto one in just a minute, D just to show exactly what Bilal just said there. Uh, these accounts of fast contribution was on the 8th of last month. And um, uh, in, in, in the last contribution was on the 22nd of last month. So it was all done within, within last month. So it, 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 in just about a month, uh, the profit is exactly what uh, Bilal just said, that currently we're experiencing about 7% a month. And remember, this is uh, from new accounts. Compounded, it's a whole new ballgame because compounded profit and loss, uh, of course, have a higher uh, a higher a figure than that. Just to illustrate this, this is this account's performance in the last one month. And that alone uh, should be uh, something that we are very thankful for and very grateful for because uh, in a real world, real market conditions, there isn't any other, in, any other uh, investment platform that is genuinely a trading that is getting better results than this one, mm -hmm. none whatsoever. And I will show you a couple of illustrations uh, to compare what some of the best hedge funds that are out there performing, uh, how they're doing so far, and we'll look at uh, their performance the entire year, and we can look at a history over the last over the last 10 years, just for you to get things in perspective. Mm -hmm. That what Daisy is currently doing in the Forex arena is nothing short of a uh, supernormal. It is incredibly, incredibly uh, 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 outperforming everybody else. But let me, let me, let me, let me contrast Before that. Before you move on, Dr. Stan, let me Go just... Ahead. Let me just add to this uh, to this here a couple of things. Number one, that seven point six eight percent in the last uh, you know month, as Dr. Stan just mentioned, uh, people in the investment world would salivate over that seven percent, eight percent almost annually, and this was received in a month. The, the other thing that I want to do is, is try to make sure you have your mind around what compounding actually means. So if you take every single day, the, the next trade that happens, that trade is happening on the 9,169, which is the current balance. That current balance already has the $653 in there. So the definition of compounding is when your interest makes interest, okay? So the next trade is going to be on the 9,169, not on the 8,515, which is the original contribution. So that's the compounding. So if it's 1%, it's going to be 1% of 9,169, not 1% 1 of 8,515. That's the difference in compounding. And that's how that number over time grows exponentially like we've seen in that p l that of the of the total company 974 over however many weeks that's been um that's because every single day it's trading on the on the next uh current balance which includes 
the profit that was gained. So hopefully that helps get your mind around how the compounding actually works. Indeed. And this being a new account, there isn't, there is a commodity that can only be gotten one way. And that is time. You cannot, uh, you cannot substitute time for anything. There's got to be longevity into it. And mm -hmm. just like uh, what I want to compare here is this week's performance of 974 compounded over the last 14, 14 months. Now, if I go back and I will, let me stop sharing that. Let me come over here and let me share where we were last Monday. Can everybody see my screen? Exactly. Yeah, we can. Thank you. Uh, this is where we were on the compounded uh, 14 months of the total trading. We were at 969. Now, if I escape that, let me pull up this because I, I, I took a screenshot of that one. Let me see if at all I can do this number over here and come back here. Where are the photos at? That's the photos. Okay, let's skip this. Let me go back here because uh, I want to show you the contrast between the individual uh, account, my account that was re recently opened, to an account that has been there for 14 months, the difference in compounding and the reason why you see that if every single uh, every single week in the compounded one, we are growing, we are doing numbers that haven't been seen before. Now, is it there, there you go. Okay, got you. Okay, let me ask, minimize this. Come back over here. Did it, din, 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 din. Let me come back to this. Let me share this. Let me share keynote. Let me share as we share keynote. Uh, let me insert this picture. Let me move this fellow over here so I can see my media over here. Insert my screenshot from my photos, which is that one over there. Close that. Can everybody see my new screenshot? Yep. Awesome. Just for purposes of comparison, and I'll minimize this, let me skip this, minimize it a little bit so that kind of like is about the same size with this one. This is the current screenshot. The other screenshot that is in the phone was matters as, as they were last Monday. So this is the difference in just a week's time. And we see in a week's time, we have grown from 969.48% to 974.16. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. So, so that's a compounded result of 5%. 5%. Right? And then, but if you actually look at the, the, the real percentage change for this week, it was 0.55%. 0.55%. 5. 5. 5%. So this 5% that you're seeing here compounded is for individuals that have been in you know, since the beginning, they would have made 5% this week had they not withdrawn or anything like that. Uh, uh, in relation to those that just started last week and have one week under their belt, they would see 0.55% in their back office. So that's the illustration of the power of time in the compounding. You have said it better than I could have said it because that is precisely the point I was bringing out. If you are new, and your account is new, it hasn't had the benefit of longevity, of time. So yours will experience the 0.55 that was the real growth this last week. 
But for those that have had time, and yours will grow in time to whereby the compounding will continue compounding and compounding continue compound until one year later, like this has been 14 months, look at yours 14 months from the time you, you started your account. And, 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 and the reason why we are training this and the reason why we are, we, we are illustrating this is because many new people join Daisy by faith. And you took a step of faith and now you're, you're, you're building trust with the opportunity that you took action on. And building trust is, we, we, we are helping you grow even more confident with this opportunity by illustrating the difference between a new account and an old account. The difference between a month's uh, compounding and a year's or 14 months compounding. And uh, there is there is something that cannot be exchanged for anything else, and that is a thing called time. Give yourself time to grow, because as you are growing, so is your compounding growing. Fourteen months from now, if at all we continue doing uh, what we we see happening here, and we see the performance uh, happening as we we have seen over the last fourteen months, remember. Past performance does not guarantee future performance. But if at all we continue at the rate we are, we are going at, then yours also would be reading somewhat something like this uh, over a week. And that's a 5% as opposed to a 0.5%. All right? I know there was a specific question where this is concerned, and that's why we are taking the time to make sure we... Uh, we illustrate, we explain so that, uh, like I said, you took steps of faith. Now we're taking steps of build, steps of building trust that uh, we, we who have been here, like Bilal has been here from day one, almost three years, we have seen the 0 0.5 uh, when, we, when we started. And that time it was a whole lot more because the volatility, which now we will go to, let me go to the volatility that um, Bilal talked about. Let, let, let's show you exactly what is happening in the world when it comes to real market conditions. And when you talk about volatility, uh, brave, where am I? I mean, brave, yes. Uh, what a, what exactly are we talking about? All right, let's see. The volatility, here we go. Uh, first of all, to explain, because we are, we are training. I am learning. And when I come across a word that I'm not familiar with, like volatility, I want to go to Investopedia or Google it up and find out exactly what volatility is. And, and volatility is a statistical measure of the dispersion of returns or for a given security or market index. And it says the higher, in most cases, the higher the volatility, the riskier the security. Now, uh, Bilal, you've been long at this. Uh, volatility, uh, AI, where are we making the money where this is concerned? Yeah, so... To, to translate all this into layman's terms, the higher the volatility, the higher the possibility of the return or loss. Because volatility means the change in prices. So where the, where, where the change in price is high, if you, if you uh, estimate what direction that change is going to be and you get it right, you win big. If at all you get it wrong, you lose big. So that's why it's saying the riskier, the higher the the uh, the rate of volatility, the riskier um, it is because you have the same, and and as we know, uh, the higher the risk, the greater the return, right? But also, risk means that there's a risk of loss. So therefore, when the when the volatility is high, you have a higher um, potential for return for high return. 
Conversely, if that volatility is flat or trending downward, then that means that it's less volatile. And therefore, that means there's less changes in prices. And when we talk about prices in Forex, you're talking about the euro versus the US dollar, the yen versus the US dollar, the yen versus the euro. Those type of things are what's being traded. And if that volatility is flat to low, then your trade is also going to be flat to low because there's not that change of price to get that to get a you know enough of a return and as you can see here um if, if you would change this to a one-year chart probably you would be able to see that the volatility over one year was very very high from the april time frame that we was in all the way until january of this year the volatility was very high and then it started trending downward and got flat over these last from January till uh, this month. Um, and so therefore we've been seeing where we were seeing 5% regular, not, not compounded, regular. We were seeing 5% regular returns per week from April up, up until January. And then we started trending down and we started seeing one to 2% a week um, over the last you know five or so six months. In, in, indeed, and this yeah. is and that's the perfect illustration right there. And our yeah. highest month was December. Okay, so in December, you can see there. Yeah, just point to that big mountain. <clears throat> December was our highest return month, and we we, we got a regular, um, like thirty seven percent. Some people calculate thirty one, but I do a four four five, which means that I do four weeks uh, for January, four weeks for February, and then five weeks for March. So all the quarter months for me are five weeks. So on my chart, uh, December was 37% on, on other people's charts where they measure who gets the five weeks by how many days of the current month or the, or the previous month is in that week, in that last week, then they, they, they give it to that month. Uh, so you might see 31% on some people's charts. Either way, it was the highest month, uh, December. And, and you could see from the volatility there is why. Indeed, and then uh, coming into December, coming into the new year from January, you see literally all the currencies kind of like flat, flatlined, very little mm -hmm. volatility. And, and and I was pulling out, uh, uh, I was pulling out uh, one year to show us how well actually Endotech has done from 2021 hereabouts there's been minuscule volatility when you talk about volatility to the scale. Look at the scale of 2018. I mean, this really went ballistic, the New Zealand dollar. It just went ballistic. But you bring it out a little bit closer to home uh, over, the last, uh, over the last, say for example, months, and that's when you are seeing uh, uh, how well we are doing you know, all things considered, that we, there's hardly any volatility, and yet we are still making profits, even though it's 0.5% per week. Uh, that is commendably high compared to some of the other guys. Let's look at the other guys. Let's look at Eureka Hedge, which has 54% of all the, the hedge funds the record on Eureka Hedge. And if, if you look at the main index, the month of May, their returns was 0.7% in the negative. Over the last three months, it's in the negative 0.23. The entire, and that's why I was saying when, when you talk about a 7% over the last one month that a new account has, has accrued in profitability, there are the, the people who would give a number and a leg for that 7% over the last one month, they have gotten 2.13 over a whole year. An entire year and the return was 2.13. In 2022, they actually lost. In fact, in 2022, let's see, do I have it here? 
uh, BlackRock lost $1.7 trillion of clients' money in the first six months of 2022. Think about that for a minute. The performance of the biggest asset manager or asset management company in the world who clients entrust with a lot of, a lot of their money for them to trade their, their assets on ETFs or uh, exchange traded funds. And they lost $1.7 trillion. So when, when, when uh, I hope you're seeing this because I've changed, I've changed the, the website. Uh, Maureen, keep updating me, but you can see the changes. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can, okay. So, so uh, $1.7 trillion. Think about that. If at all you are, quote unquote, a member, a contributor, an investor with BlackRock, the world's largest, largest asset manager, and you, you are informed they lost $1.7 trillion in six months. As opposed to in Daisy, over one month, we are seven point something percent positive in profit. And in 2022, 974%. Exactly. Actually, it was around 800% for the whole in the of same year. Starting in the same from year, April. they lost 1.7. We gained over 800%. Think about that. That in the same year that the best, the biggest, the best that there is lost uh, all that, we were up over, over 800%. And, 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 and I was looking at this and I was thinking, hmm, all the returns, the highest return forecast, and on the upper side of the US equities values growth, all of this, their largest is 6.4, 8.4, 8.1. But look at the, uh, the volatility. They are, the higher the volatility, remember we read, the higher the volatility, the riskier it is. So there's a risk, not only of losing your funds, you might not even break even, trying to shoot for 8.1% 8, 8 per year. And these are the 10-year annualized forecast for major asset classes. We're talking global. Look at their fixed, look at their fixed income returns. Because we're talking about real market situations out there in the world, so that when you look at the performance that we're having in DAISY, you'll be able to say, you know what, we are outperforming everybody. And indeed we are. Not only are we outperforming everybody, we, we now with the new with the new AI crypto AI that is just gotten completed completed and is being inst installed as we speak. Uh, our sharp ratio will shoot from three point three point nine. They're estimating that it's going to be going towards four point five by next year. But even at three uh, three point five, let me see where we are. We're over here. Even at 3.5, this is London. I was looking at London. I said, I got to look at London. I want to see how their sharp ratio is comparing to 3.9, right? And I thought, let me look at the, the best performing. In fact, this is uh, the best performing funds to invest in the United Kingdom right now. This was published this year, 31st of March. I said, what are they offering? And me being in London, if I was to look at uh, giving my funds to a fund manager, what really can I be expecting? They actually have uh, put out the names of the best fund managers in the UK and the names are there and who the, who, who, who the company is and what they're doing and their sharp ratio. Notice all of them are below 1%, all their sharp ratios. So when you talk about 3.9, we're talking about sharp ratios of unheard of proportions in what is called the best platform to invest on in the United Kingdom. And that if, if for those that were listening to Dr. Anna and they heard how uh, five of the largest banking institutions are knocking on Endotech's door, it's because they understand 
the best performance, I found one that was doing really good. Let me see if I can find it. it was doing really good and was performing at, where are we at? I, I thought I found one that was performing, uh, performing at 1.1, 1.1%. 1. 1, uh, 1. 1 90 years, you don't even want to look at 90 years, you'd cry. Uh, uh, I, 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 I've been reading so many things. I have so many things out, out here open. Suffice it to say, oh, here is, here is the one I was looking for, the historical month performance. Now, we are talking about the last 10 years, how have the 54% that are reporting on Eureka Head, how have they been performing YTD, you know, year to date? Look at this year, 2023. In January, they were up 3.16 in the month of January. How about Feb? They were in the red, 0 0.76. March, in the red, 0 0.36. A A April, 0 0.40 positive. May, 0 0.27 loss. Uh, of course, June, they haven't reported because we're in, the, we're in the middle of June. But the whole year to date, they are 2.13 as of now. How about last year? We're talking about 54% of all the, uh, the hedge funds and ETFs that, that report through Eureka. Last year, entire 54% were on average at a loss of negative 4.96%. Their best year was 20, well, the best year was 2020 when they, 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 they came up with 13%. We're talking about the whole year. And the reason we, you know, I know we are, we are not comparing apples with apples here, but we are comparing market conditions, situations that others are right now experiencing those who are investing or uh, letting fund managers trade on their behalf, as opposed to letting, being part of DAISY and letting Endotex AI that has been in development do uh, its thing as it's being you know, as it's been developed, you know, trading in real market situations and let's see what they, they, been, they, they can bring in. Uh, Bidal. Yeah, absolutely, Dr. Stan. Um, the numbers don't lie, as they say, right? 100%. Uh, 100%. And, and so while I, I, I realize many of us are new uh, especially when it comes to Daisy. Many of us are new. Let me put this one up again. Uh, not, let me put up this one again. Let me make sure that we understand that this global compounding over 14 months, there is nothing like it out there. There is there is no other platform that can do that. There's no other, uh, there's no other investment uh, a scenario that you're looking at. That's why you see the banks are looking to endotech because this is not what uh, uh, endotech expects of the new crypto AI. Now we talk about crypto because there was a question that was raised regarding crypto. So on this brand new account that was opened last month. Let's come to my account again and let's go into crypto. Now on this one, of course, you, you, you understand that when you, you are becoming a new member as of uh, what, two, three months ago, they, they combined it to have a combo pack. So that's why the $200 apply. A combo pack, you get a tier one in crypto and a tier one in Forex. And then you, you tear up on whichever that you wish to tear up on. If you want to tear up or contribute funds in crypto, then you go to you go to crowd and you 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 tear up and you select whether it's crypto or whether it is a forex. Okay. If you want to do forex I and mean crypto, you select you are the one who decides where you want to fund when it comes to crowdfunding, right? Uh, but let's let's just look at uh, the performance because this question was raised. How come uh, we are seeing negative? 
Uh, the reason why is because these reports have not been updated. And, and you heard during the last global call that the implementation of the breakthrough crypto AI, they're hoping that it will be done by July 1st. Uh, 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 Bilal, Bilal said last time, there's one thing that we in days they are very good at. We are not very good at keeping to schedules. <laughs> 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 but when it go, but when it, but when it launches, it launches. It takes off when like it a rocket. Launches, boy, it goes through the roof. <laughs> exactly. So we just gotta exercise patience sometimes. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath that this is gonna get done by July first. Don't hold your breath. But yeah. when it does get done, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be going through the ozone layer like it, there, there was no ozone yeah. layer. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 we understand because uh, you know many of us who are familiar with with, with, with tech companies, uh, something always almost inevitably needs to be adjusted with tech. It never tech never says thirty first is exactly when we're gonna we're gonna go live on this. Something there's always a spanner in the work somewhere. So they have to sort this out and sort it out, but they do eventually launch. And one of the one of the things we can say about Daisy, and we that that have been there from the beginning, is that we will hit we will hit stormy weather, we will go through rocky situations, but they eventually sort it out, and they always always keep their promises. Yeah. Especially and now that you saw Dr. Anna excited, I, I mean, we've met, I mean, Bilal, uh, Bilal and I, and, and I think Maureen was, was also in Dubai to see uh, Dr. Anna and, and all those that attended the Dubai event. I mean, she doesn't, she, she, she doesn't get excited and especially doesn't express that excitement that you can see. But June 1st, I mean, you didn't need you didn't need my glasses to see that she's excited, and she was. And the video she put out uh, about the breakthrough in the crypto AI, not only is now quote and work quote and quote a work in progress. This is a done deal. It's a complete, uh, it's a complete uh, AI that she's talking about. And then she put out a three minutes uh, video that uh, uh, she talks about and thanks the Daisy community. The implementation of which yeah. will, of course, go ahead, Bilal. No, I was just agreeing with you. And I was just going to say, yeah, Dr. Anna was extremely excited. And just imagine, you know, 25 years of your life work has been in this area of AI and developing AI. She's written books on it. Um, you know, she's been in the space. She has her PhD in here. So imagine when she uh, has a breakthrough, right? that she would be excited. This is her baby. Her baby has graduated, uh, you know? And so she's very excited and she didn't want to wait. They were, they made her wait till June 1st to be able to tell the community. She wanted to freaking tell us immediately. Um, and here's another thing uh, that kind of expresses a little bit of her excitement. Dr. Anna never, ever, ever in the three, two and a half years, approaching three years that we've been involved you know, with Daisy and even, you know, it's it's probably more like three years because there was a lot of development of the idea of Daisy uh, that took place before the actual launch. So just imagine that you finally have the breakthroughs that you have. And then she never, ever, ever talks about percentage returns. And she's mentioned on that call that we should expect to see when, when the new uh, AI for crypto is implemented, we should expect to see around 5% a week. That means they did a back study over the last five years. And this is what they seen on average was 5% a week. And not only did they just do a back study, but they also did two live months of, uh, of testing, which is why Dr. Stan said that that has not been updated because those two months uh, you know, seeing very favorable returns of what when they do get to update the system and update the back office, you would actually see that um, in the back office. So with, with her expressing 5% a week, number one, I think, you know, she always would, would go with the under 
you know, under promise over deliver. So we could probably expect more. But even at 5% a week, that's what the Forex was doing last year when it took off. So we can be expecting somewhere around 20% a month again and compounded. We know what that the power of what that does. Also, just to give you a little bit of insight, the Forex is a $6 trillion a day market. Okay, that's what trades do Forex on a daily basis. But And Forex is short-term trades, right? So we always enter and exit a trade um, during the day. And so there never is a time where they buy and hold and it, it goes over a day. So every single day, they enter a trade and exit a trade, enter trades, exit trades. And whatever they enter, they exit in that day. So that's called a short-term trade. Cryptocurrency is more long-term trading. You might enter a trade. The AI might enter a trade on Monday, and and it can go two weeks before they actually exit the trade, right? Because it's you know it's based on that volatility, and that it could actually that volatility could could extend over longer periods of time. So if you just look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin one week could be twenty-five. You know, and it could be trading around 25.5 or something like that. And then next thing you know, it's 27. Next thing you know, it's 29. So those 25.5 would be the entry point. The 27.8, 29 or whatever would be the exit point. And that could take two weeks for that to happen. So it's a longer, a longer trade uh, that your money is in. However, uh, cryptocurrency has the ability to outperform the Forex because it could do 100% in a month versus 20, you know? But it can also, and, and, and like we say with the risk, as you can win big, you can also have losses that are big. So I just wanted to say that to you guys. And then on the point where Dr. Stan spoke about, you know, the five largest banks, um, you know, are very excited about what Dr. Anna has accomplished with this 3.9% sharp ratio to the point where they want to uh, give their institutional clients over to Endotech to validate that she, she actually can do what she says that she can do, or they want to, you know, they want to validate that she's seeing actually what she says that she's seeing. And obviously when that is proved, right. When that is validated to these big banks, who, by the way, they say are 10 years behind where Dr. Anna is today. They, they, with all their money and power and, and quants and scientists and, and the best brains that they have, you know, uh, uh, the best resources they have to get the best brains, they're 10 years behind where she is. 10 years. They don't even have, we, we have about 80 bots or something like that, that Dr. Anna calls it. They don't even have one. So, um, very, very. So that means that the valuation of Indotech could be very, very, very uh, high, right? Very lucrative. Those shares, and we, there's a whole new five percent equity shares. Though could be, they, they could be very valuable. And and Dr. Stan, if we have time, you know, as you go through your presentation, and if you have a, a live spreadsheet, I like to actually walk you through and walk the community through what I think that looks like. And. Hundred percent. In fact, we are just about to wrap it up, and and then you, you you can have your time on the wrap on the time sheet. I just for the sake and for the purpose of those who did not see the three minutes clip by Dr. Anna, I'm just gonna play it real quick here, just for people to to see. And uh, thanks, Bidal, you've covered that beautifully. So everyone who has crypto tears in their account is looking the negative, nothing to worry about. It's just, it's not an updated reporting that is currently on. And like Bilal says, the crypto uh, tiers right now are the only ones where you can get shares when you get to tier five. And in the month of June, with this brand new 5% uh, equity of Endotech, this 5% brand new uh, uh, category of only those who crowdfund into the crypto tiers from tier five and above get shares. So 5% of all of Endotech shares are in this, this space and it's only open or valid for the next less than 90 days because 
like I said, the target date is 31st of August for it to close. So uh, don't let the reporting in the in your account crypto section, don't let that deter you from crowdfunding into the crypto tiers two, three to five, because when you get to tier five, you get 25 shares of this brand new 5% equity, which of course has more value now than even the pay setters because the pay setters has over a thousand people. This one has yet to get to that number. So it is a more lucrative uh, arena to play at. Uh, but if at all you do it in the month, if at all you crowdfund it to the month, uh, uh, to tier five in the month of June, uh, those 25 shares are doubled. So you'll have 50 as opposed to 25. Then if at all you want to get into the promo pack, which is a promotional pack that is available when you get to tier, tier three, tier four, but those all those don't have, don't have shares. It is, a, it is only tier five that has shares and above. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're going for shares in Endotech and you want to do them, through, uh, uh, well, it's only available that right now in crypto, then you wanna do tier five, and then you want to get the promotional pack on tier five. What is a promo pack? A promo pack is you rebuy or you recontribute, you're only allowed to recontribute once per tier, but you recontribute to the tier five that you have already contributed to. And of your $1,600 recontributed, 90% of it, which is 1,440, go into your, trade, into your live trade account. So 90% goes into your live trade account. And then the balance, which is 160, which is 10%, goes to the crowd to get you another 25 shares. And if you do that in the month of June, again, your extra 25 shares that you get through with the promo pack are doubled. So you will actually have 100 shares for contributing to tier five, and then getting a promo pack on the tier five. You go into tier six, again, the same thing happens. You contribute once, you get 50 shares, which are doubled and you get a hundred shares. If you recontribute on tier six, which you can promo pack once, then another 50 shares, which are doubled again to a hundred shares. So you'll have a total of, of 200 shares in tier six. I mean, this, this promo is only available to be doubled. That is, it's only available in the month of June, in the month of July and August before the whole crowdfunding is supposed to end. Uh, then those shares will go back to their regular uh, shares, which is uh, 25 at tier five, 50 at tier six, 100 at tier seven and so forth. It doubles on every tier, okay? But for the next three minutes, here is Dr. Anna. Hello, dear Daisy community and valued Endotech clients. Thank you for joining us today. We are thrilled to be sharing the results of 12 years of innovation as we launch our groundbreaking new product. When we first spoke, I detailed our vision about creating breakthrough financial opportunities using AI. Today, I am proud to present the culmination of that vision, the AI for financial investments that you helped build. Our vision revolved around harnessing the power of AI to dynamically evaluate technical and fundamental indicators. We assembled a swarm of AI experts specifically developed to assess these indicators. These experts, combined with our unique market state, have allowed us to evaluate fair value of assets and financial behavior of the traders in the right context. This laid the groundwork for our trading strategies to pull information within the market state context. So that was the vision we articulated years ago. And now I'm excited to reveal the product that represents the advancement we saw months ago. Today, I'm showing you the official product launch. Let me walk you through this remarkable AI revolution. Let's begin by examining all the pieces on the slide and then see them in action within the product itself. As you can see, 
Our product brings together technical experts, fundamental experts, market states, and AI tools, all culminating in our powerful trading strategies. And now within the product, you can witness the trading strategies actively pulling information from the market states and the experts. The market states were determined by our technical and fundamental experts, utilizing our suite of AI tools, including LLM, LSTM, Bayesian network, and many other AI methodologies. When this element come together, you can observe automated data ingestion and textualizing through market states and strategies being executed. And the most exciting part is that AI results are continuously improving. Just look at this remarkable progress. Dear Daisy community and Antotet client, get ready to embrace the future of financial investment with our revolutionary AI product. Thank you all for being part of this journey. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. And that for me uh, gives me solid confidence to participate in the crypto space uh, without even looking at the reporting at the moment, because just like Bilal said, for the first time ever, and we've, we've been going uh, in, in the conferences, Dubai conferences, events with, uh, with Dr. Anna, I, we've never ever, seen her this excited or even heard her suggest a number of a percentage. We just don't do that. <laughs> she never mentions any percentage, 1%, 5%, she never. It's market situations, but what they have achieved with the crypto AI, the breakthrough in, in that AI is just absolutely amazing. So uh, I, I, I have developed more confidence in, um, in, in the crypto uh, and uh, yeah, of course, we, we, we definitely, and this is no financial advice, but we're definitely participating in it, even to larger, 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 you know, participations than before, because of what the future is holding. And the next two, three months, just going to be definitive. But the, the time to really crack it is now. Let me pull up Bilal's uh, request for uh, the... Uh, spreadsheet let me see where we at let me go over here yeah pull up a pull up a fresh spreadsheet and i'll take you through dr stan putting the numbers in and what i think i mean but you didn't capture you know dr anna's when she mentioned about the the big banks and the five percent that's actually at the end of the june 1st global call so i challenge you to to go towards the 56 minute mark from the 56 minute mark towards the end when when edward was asking some questions and she was responding that's where you can hear all of that information. And maybe if you can uh, get a clip of that uh, to share for the next and, and the next time we have the call and have this discussion, that would be great. Because you can actually hear when she talks about the five biggest banks in the world wanting to uh, uh, lend their institutional clients to validate, which he actually just said uh, that you just played, which was the sharp ratio. Um, and then she also mentioned the 5% a week during that time frame of the call. So yeah, if you can just pull up a, a new spreadsheet. Uh, okay. So, okay. If you, if, so if you just go to, You're if you just to go to that plus sign there, yeah. Okay, so in, in that box there, Dr. Stan, I want you to put 10 billion. So that's gonna be 10 with nine zeros, right? One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three. Yep, that looks like 10 billion to me. Yeah, make sure it's a number, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, you can get out of that box, go to the next box. All right, so, so 10 billion is what I have been using, and this is prior to Dr. Emmett's announcement. I have been using 10 billion as the estimated value of Indotech, uh, should they do an IPO or a sale. Now, we know that 5% 
is what they're offering us in all these various 5% pools. So the very first 5% pool is what everybody achieves uh, uh, up through May when they were purchasing tiers, right? So 5%, so e do equals, Dr. Stan, and then click on that uh, cell A for the 10 billion, and then do uh, asterisk, which is multiply. Asterisk, that is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, see it. Uh huh. And then do 0 0.05, which is 5%. 0 0.05. Yes. Click outside. Yep, just enter. Okay. So that's 500 million. So here, Dr. Stan, do this. Uh, click on A, click on cell A. And then that box that says general, change it to, I mean, actually there should be a dollar sign somewhere, right? General. We wanna change it to, we wanna change it to money. Oops. No, that's pounds. Um, I like dollars. Uh, you like dollars. Yeah, dollars, man. You like yeah, dollars. Maybe because you're in the UK, you know, you don't even have it there. Uh, so you're showing pounds. So let's just let's just leave it off because I, I don't want to do pounds. Okay. Because we deal we deal in USDT, which is actually similar to the, the US dollar. Right. And I don't know if you could change it. But anyways, put the commas on it at least. So yeah, just hit the commas right underneath number. There's a comma right underneath number. Hmm? Oh, there's a comma. Why is it? Why is it? Yeah, comma? underneath number. If you click that comma. First of all, click on click on box A. Okay. Yep, and then click the comma. The comma. It's already down there. No, no. Doc, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. There you go. Gotcha. And then do the same thing for the five hundred million. Gotcha. And let's get rid of the cents because that makes the number look too long. So if you just click the arrow to the far left of the comma, the far right, yeah, click that two times. No, nope, the other one. That opens it up more. You want to shut it down. Let me mm -hmm. get rid of the decimals and do the same thing on A. All right, so what do we have here, guys? We got 10 billion valuation in cell A. We have 5%, which is 500 million, okay? And then we know that a couple of months ago, they announced that we were at 2.8 million total shares between the 200 something thousand members contributed to Daisy. So let's increase that to 3 million because that was a couple of months ago. So let's let's say 3 million. So put 3 million in that box there. Okay, I need to click in here. So we do three, three and six zeros. Three, one, two, three. And then we click the commas over here. Yeah, I think you have to kind of go out and go back in, yeah. There you go. And then get rid of the decimals. Okay, so that's 3 million people. So $500 million over 3 million people. So let's do this in, in, in that box D, right next to the 3, mil, 3 million, which is shares. So you're gonna do equal sign, the B, the 500 million, divided by, which is a slash, Yep, and then the three million. I click on this. Yep. Enter. Okay, so that's one hundred and sixty-seven dollars per share. All right. Now let's just say you have a thousand shares. Oh, let's just say let's scale it down. We're gonna say a hundred shares. Let's do a hundred shares. I don't know what's reasonable for most people. Um, so let's just go with a lower number, and then we can. Always say you put a zero on it, right? So you got a hundred shares. Uh, okay. So equal. So equals the one sixty. No, equals equals D times one hundred. Times asterisk. One hundred. All right. So that would mean that your hundred shares would be worth. What is that there, Doc? Stan, put some commas on it. $16,700, let's call it, all right? So that's how much your 100 shares would be worth. And uh, for every zero that you have on your shares, so if you had 1,000 shares, it would be $166,000. That's normal, okay? So that's what you have right now. Now, Dr. Stan, can you just copy all of that down to and skip a row and then copy it down to another row? 
So copy it down to number three. Okay, and instead of three million, okay, this new 5% pool, in my opinion, is gonna be no more than a half a million. So 500,000. Can you type 500,000? Can you hit escape first to get rid of the copy? Hit escape. Escape as in, okay, escape. Okay. The key, the, the key escape, yeah. And then change that to 500,000. And then we do the, we do yeah. that. So you got a new pool, 500,000. If 500,000 is the amount of shares that ends up in this new pool, which by the way, is only going to be available until we go Daisy 2.0, right? right? Which could be September 1st, October 1st, November 1st, whatever it's going to be. Um, it's going to be a shorter period, if you agree, than the two and a half years that we've, that we've uh, been accumulating that 3 million shares that we see above it. Okay, that means if we do 500,000, that the shares at the same 10 billion valuation, these new shares are gonna be worth $1,000 per share. And so that same 100 shares that you can get, my, by the way, to obtain 100 shares in this new pool right now, this month, you go, and if you're brand new, a brand new person, they go down to tier five, which costs $3,200, and then get a tier five momentum pack, which is another 1,600. So for $4,800 and then the cost of the Tron to do that transaction, let's say that's the other 200. So for $5,000, you would have a certain amount in the trading, right? About 80% of that would be in the trading. Um, and then the, the, uh, the balance would be your cost for this 100,000. So um, $100,000 is what you can obtain on 100 shares of the new 5% pool. And you can get that by going down to tier five and then doing a tier five momentum pack. That in this month, June, in this month of June, that gets you a hundred shares. And that hundred shares, and remember, we're not making any promises here. This is my projection. Um, the 10 billion valuation, that's my projection. And I'll tell you what my logic is. In September, when Dr. Stan often talks about uh, a few of us being in in Dubai, the very first event, leader event, okay? And at that leader event, it was announced that uh, a venture capital firm offered Dr. Anna $2.5 billion to kick us to the curb and they wanted to take over, right? And she, she turned them down uh, for, for various reasons, but that meant at that time, September, 2021, that the valuation was 2.5 billion because that's what somebody was willing to pay for it, okay? So that was before the launch of the Forex. The Forex taken off, in my opinion, makes it 10 billion. The AI, if it does what it says it's gonna do, and the five largest banks go in there and validate it and give the institution clients, that means to me, that this $10 billion valuation is super low and it can very well be a hundred billion. Now at a hundred billion, that hundred shares would be worth 10 X more. Okay. Which would be a million dollars. So for a hundred shares at a hundred billion valuation, if that's what happens, uh, or somebody comes in and acquire it, acquire Indotech and Indotech's technology for a hundred billion, that's what it would be worth. Okay. Uh, that would be a million dollars. Now, let's just do it one more time, Dr. Stan. Take that first row, copy it down to, to row five. Okay, so instead of three million right there, Dr. Stan, um, we're going to type in the current number of pay setters, which is 1518. So pay setters, uh, can you put a comma? Can you put commas on, um, yeah, right there. So pay setters currently, uh, we have our own 5% pool. So when you become a pay setter, you get into this 5% pool that's shared amongst the pay setter. So again, with everything being the same, 10 billion valuation, we get our own 5%. Uh, there's currently 
1,500, 18 pace setters. So right now, the value of those shares at a 10 billion valuation would be $329,380, okay, um, per share. And that's it. So there is no need for the column E there. That's the answer, okay? $329 per share, uh, except if you have more than one pace setter. So like Dr. Stan, you have two in your household, right? So you can take go to column E. No, yeah, right there, right there. And multiply, go ahead, go in there, column E. Yep. And take off the, the 100 and put two. The 100. Yeah, go click inside the cell up there where you see the math, where it says FX all the way up top. Uh, where do I see FX? Right next to FX, there's a big white space that has the math. No, go down. Well, down, down, boom, down, right in there. No, nope. up, up, right there. Click well, inside yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, backspace and put a backspace, get rid of, yeah, and put two. Okay, because you have two pace setters in your household. So that's how much the two pace setters could be worth. 658, if my eyes are yep. doing me right here, yep. um, $1,000. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the value of going after a pace setter. And then one, we'll do it one more time, Dr. Stan, and then I'll get off this call. I mean, I'll, I'll let the, everybody get off this call. So let's copy down one more time. Let's, let's copy down, wait, let's, let's copy down row five because it already has some of the info. Copy the seven, yeah. Okay, and instead of 1518, this is for leader. Um, put a 200 in there. So they say, because not every leadership share is, is, is available for this. Only the, the leaders that became leaders after September. So we're going to call it, there's about 300 and something leadership shares right now, but we're going to call it 200. And then we got to change going to cell B to 500,000 on that row, on row seven. Yeah. And we're going to change the 0.05 to 0.02 because it's 2% uh, for the leaders. Okay. So leaders get 2% of uh, a share pool to, to split. And if there were 200 shares of leadership shares, um, that would be $200 million split over 200 uh, people. So each share would be worth a million dollars. And each leadership share that you have would be worth $2 billion in this scenario, okay? Now, again, remember, if 10 billion is low and it's more closer to 100 billion, then, then you put another zero on all these numbers. So the, the 16,000 becomes 166, the 100,000 becomes a million, the 658,000 becomes 6.58 million, and the $2 million becomes $20 million. That's what that could be worth. Just to give you guys uh, an understanding of what I think about when I think about the value of the shares, the value of Indotech, the value of the technology that they're developing, this is the real prize. And we always focus on the trading, which is great, right? Because we can see it. We can see it. That's right now. What we don't focus on normally is the value of the shares that we have been obtaining and what happens <clears throat> when either a sale and acquisition of Indotech happens or they go public, <clears throat> which is the goal. Except With that being said, Dr. Stan, um, I got to jump off. I'm getting a call here for Father's Day, so I, uh, I want to take this one. I appreciate you guys, and I hope that information was valuable. We appreciate your, your, your leadership, Bilal, and uh, we wish you a very happy Father's Day and do you have a good afternoon. God bless. We'll just take another five or so minutes to take questions. If at all you do have a question regarding anything that was shared tonight or regarding anything, this is your time. We'll take Q&A like we promised. Uh, the community that is with us tonight, uh, go ahead, raise your hand, and we will be able to unmute you and get you to ask a question. Good to see you, Esther. Esther, also Pesetta leader, is with us. She, let me see whether she jumped class. We, we're going to make sure that she didn't, she didn't escape class. <laughs> Actually, today was short, Dr. Stan. We finished, and then I was taking a chance to see whether the, the Zoom is still going on. Yeah. 
I, I, I couldn't miss, uh, if you miss up a few times, because I missed up the other day, I couldn't miss up this time. So I get um, penalized and obviously I don't want to do that. We, with, with that, I understand. And uh, tonight uh, information really is building faith in the system. And uh, of course, Bilal comes in, brings out the numbers, uh, yes. especially where those shares, what are your thoughts on those shares? To be honest, I'm pretty excited myself. Very, very excited. Uh, the fact that one of my one of my uh, my teams uh, today actually uh, was buying all the way to momentum, and just to see, even looking that she managed to get fifty shares, that was very exciting for me. You know, so I'm trying uh, my best to make sure that anybody in my team do not lose that opportunity because you could see the value the opportunity behind uh, endotech and what is in you know at stake for us. So I'm very excited, Dr. Stan. I haven't listened to what you and Biral were talking about on this Zoom, but the bit that I caught up, you know, the figures, when I see that, <laughs> it's very juicy. You know, now I'm not going to sleep. I'll be re-listening. I hope it's been recorded, yeah? It is indeed, and I'll be sharing it uh, immediately in the, uh, in the Telegram group chat. Thank and you. Yeah, so fantastic. One of the things I would say uh, to us as a team, of course, mm -hmm. financial advice here or anything like that, but the numbers of the new crypto AI tearing up uh, to tier five and above and getting those shares, I, I, I think uh, those shares have been a dark horse for a very long time. Uh, and now we begin, people are beginning to realize the sheer value of the shares. While the trading is still going on, while the AI is doing its thing, the value of those shares to receive dividends off of that is phenomenal. And I, and I think in Africa, it is, it is time we emphasize more about owning the system, about owners of endotech, part owners of endotech through shareholding, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, not, just being, not just being consumers, but being part of producers, being part of the, the reason why it's happening is because we are part of Endotech and we own it. And I think this, this is an incredible opportunity for $3,200 that uh, it takes one to go from tier one all the way through to tier five, and you get 50 shares. If you rebuy a uh, tier five, uh, that's another 1,600. So a total of 4,700, a total of 5,000. US dollars, you have a hundred shares. You just saw an illustration, a projection, a modeling, a probability of what a hundred shares could be worth, might be worth. What if that is so? What if it is even more than that? Okay, what if it is less? Uh, uh, what if it is half of that? Think about that. Half of that is is fifty thousand dollars worth of shares, and and and. Uh, perpetuity you're talking about um drawing on dividends in perpetuity uh, and, and i think that's the mindset we need to we need to we need to have in 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 this is not just a, a a short sprint it's not just about how much we earn per day or even per week or even per month but we step back and we look at the bigger picture and we say uh, 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 how is this going to be a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, have a five-year mindset. We used to talk a lot about having five-year plans. Most countries do that. Uh, have year five-year development plans. And even though we, 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 we view uh, this opportunity with that outlook, and yes, if one cannot be able to go to the, 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 the tier five where their shares, but they can go to whatever tier it is, that they are able to, whether it's, two, whether it's 200 and you get a tier one, that's good. There isn't a, a small investment in DAISY. There's only an investment. There's only a, a contribution. There's only a crowdfunding. And uh, if, if what you can reach is what you can reach, reach what you can reach. Uh, but for me, this is my own opinion. To do nothing is not an option. To sit by the, by the bylines and sidelines is not an option. Because I don't want my kids to be asking me five years from now when uh, Endotech is a household name in the financial arena. And they ask me, Dad, you had that opportunity. You heard about it. You were there from the beginning. What did you do? 
Who do I answer my own kids? And I think it's 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 an opportunity way too big to miss. And like Leonard Ravenhill said, you know, an opportunity of a lifetime must be seized in the lifetime of that opportunity because this is not going to last forever. That window of opportunity doesn't last forever. And uh, sometimes people might miss out because of overthinking, being overcautious. Uh, uh, for some of us, it's, hey, whatever it takes, we're doing this. And, and, and I so much appreciate every single one who is building building trust with the system. Uh, I, I remember even buying a new car. You, you, you have to build trust with it that it will do what it, it is meant to do. And um, you bought it, you bought it by faith. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. But it takes a little bit of, um, shall I say, driving around for you to get to trust the corners that is going to take the corners the, the way you're used to. Uh, if you have a big car, especially driving in London, you know, you go through some of the narrow roads that were made for one horse at a time, please. And, and you, you have to kind of like, uh, you know, build build trust with it that you're actually going to fit it in there and with all the beepers and, and all the all the signals and sirens and everything else <laughs> creating havoc in your ears. You build trust. And, and, and I so much appreciate the fact that we all are building trust. And some of us, like I said, like uh, we, we've been here for the last, this is our third year now. We have learned to trust uh, the system. We have learned to trust the leadership. We have learned to trust uh, the founders. We have learned to, to trust Endotech. We, not just theoretically, we, we, we have seen proven time and again, when things don't go wrong, they don't run. When things don't go right, don't go wrong, they, they correct it, they, they work at it. And they don't stop until they get it right, and and uh, and that for us is is a testament of the fact that uh, this is not a fly by night uh, or a rug pull or any anything of that. That's why you know just the forex alone we 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 have contributed almost almost three hundred million. Think about that, almost three hundred million as a community. It's because this is a this is a this is a trusted and a proven entity. That we've been crowdfunding, and and I guess now that we we're going to the next level, we are pushing to the next level. Uh, for those that were in Dubai last February, they had Jeremy talk about, you know, they've been they've been thinking ten billion. In in his two don't stay and that he thinks we've been thinking too low or too small or too little. Ten billion, too little? You kidding me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 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 well, I want to say this, guys. Uh, you do what you need to do. Do what you have to do. Do what your future self will thank you for. Take steps that your future self, two years from now, three, uh, two years from now, three years from now, will look back and say, thank you because you dared believe. You dared take steps of faith. You dared when we were stepping into an, an entire new arena. And I think that... Um, the culmination of this uh, of this AI that uh, we have been crowdfunding, the completion of it literally changes the game. It literally changes. That's my belief. That's my personal belief. And uh, I, I'm not moved by the reports that I'm seeing at the moment because I know they, they're still going to be doing those over the next month or two. Uh, uh, we, 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 have, we have seen, for those who have been in crypto from day one, like Felicity, I know you've, you've, been, you've been in from day one and uh, after it went up to 120%, then from then on, it's never been in, in, in positive territory. It's always been negative, but that did, not, that did not deter us from believing in the system, believing in the company, believing in, the, in our founders. And we, we put more, more, more funds into crowdfund Forex and look what Forex has done. I mean, absolutely incredible numbers. Uh, and you've got all this new AI now, is going to outperform Forex. <laughs> I want a piece of the action. I want a piece of that. And, and of course, no promises, no guarantees, uh, but uh, uh, high risk, high returns. We have now what we call high probability uh, with 3.9% sharp ratio, which is about 80, 85% uh, uh, positive. That means eight out of every 10 trades that you do 
you you're getting positive results you're coming out with profit and amazing. they're looking it's amazing you are a trader Esther. you mean huh? uh, i'm sure you i'm sure you're beating the ai aren't you yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling you i am just really loving this and 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 i tell you what dr stan um there is this broker i use i've used for many years and i remember talking to him and the interest were going too high at one point. And I thought I, I wait for another year. And he said, Esther, this is a small inconvenience for you for a better tomorrow. Do you know? And I listened to his words. And when I went through that property I was buying and I was thinking the interest was very high, today that property is four five times because of what it was. So even if at that time I was inconvenienced. So what I'm trying to say here is, with the opportunity, just like what Dr. Stan and Bilal have just, I have just come in to see those figures. With that kind of an opportunity given, because they know they are just finalizing, we are at the finale. You get the opportunity to double those shares, guys. We've been here since 2021. We will seen. I was not expecting to get this opportunity again. I was expecting uh, we finished with Forex and now the AI for, for crypto is ready to go now. And that's it. But to get the opportunity that you can actually double your shares, for me, all I can say to anybody here, do whatever you can and you go, get yourself at least a share. One share is how much, Dr. Stan? At your five, is tw- you get 25 shares, double Twen- Double to 50. Yes, 25 shares. No, no, plus that 25 shares that you're always going to be getting paid monthly for two years. Oh, no, on that's when you get into the pool. Only when you get into the pool too, if you want yeah. to get into the pool. And if you don't want to get into the pool, get it because of the shares. Win-win. I'm, I'm telling you, just yes. get to tier five, even if you don't have the five people that are personally enrolled mm-hmm. that will get to tier five, even if you don't get into the pool, Get into the shares, get into these shares, because if you if you get to tier five, then Bilal, of course, the, the disclaimer is there. If this is his mm-hmm. estimate. Yes. If, if you get into tier five, you get 50 shares. If you buy the promo pack on it, get another 50 shares. That is a total of 4,700 USDT. You get 100 shares. 100 shares if at all the valuation that he's thinking about and look, you know, just modeling, estimating, mm. a share is worth a thousand, a thousand dollars a share, and you have a hundred, that's a hundred thousand yeah. for a hundred shares. So tier five is 3,200. Put in another 1,600 to get the promo pack. You got a hundred shares this month. We are not saying it is worth this, that's what it could be worth. It could be worth less. It could be worth more. But uh, by Bilal's estimation, uh, and, and we say this is only that, and we are looking at 10 billion, you were told two years ago, somebody was willing to pay 2.5 billion for endotech. And we didn't even have Forex then. Now we have Forex and we have the new AI. So it is not, to, it's not far-fetched to say that uh, 10 billion is a figure that could be uh, that could be within reason. But like you had Jeremy say, they're shooting for 100 billion. Think about 100 billion, add another zero there. It's a million for 100 shares. A million for 100 shares. For how much? 4,900 4, or 4,800 thereabouts that you, like you said, the, the pain is, is in the crowdfunding. The pain is when you're coming out with the funds. But two years, three years, and uh, this IPO is public, and the valuation is $1,000 per share or $10,000 per share. Who knows? Especially in the new pool, because this, we're talking about the new pool. It's phenomenal. How about the pay setter? If you're pay setter with 15, uh, 1,518 pay setters currently, just one share is worth 329, almost, you know, <laughs> almost half a million for being a pay setter on the shares alone. So guys, that's why we say, of course, we don't make any financial claims. We don't make any 
uh, income claims, any financial advice whatsoever, all we can do is we share information that we ourselves are participating in and we're exercising in, and then uh, you all make an informed decision based on you know, your own persuasion. We still haven't gotten a question, so I will presume that uh, Bilal was excellent at, at his explanation uh, about the performance and where we are at. And uh, then we will wish everybody a quick good night. Let me see what all, just give it a quick 60 seconds to see what all we have any hands going up, any question, any clarification, any hands going up, going once, going twice, going three. Good, fantastic. It, it's such a joy, of course, spending any order. I don't want to say spending time with you because we don't spend time, we invest time. And uh, time invested with this team always for me is um, a, a lot of value. So I appreciate every single one of you being on the call. Uh, we will wish every one of you a very good night. We will see you tomorrow for the presentation. Come with a guest. We shall have the presentation tomorrow. We will wish you a very good night. God bless and bye-bye for now. Thank you, Dr. Stan. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thanks, Maureen, for, for, for co-hosting. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.